What's going on, you guys? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to find winning dropshipping products. Now, before we get into this, I just want to show you my store right now. As you can see, we've got lots of sales coming through all over the world. And this right here is the total sales for the day so far. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to refresh this just real quick, uh, just so that you can see that this is actually real. And I'm just showing you this just so that you have some proof so that you know that the information I'm about to show you in this video, you can actually trust. All right, so let's get right into this. And you're going to have to be patient with this video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to not only show you how to find winning products, but I'm actually going to go through with you and we're going to find some winning products together. So it's a little bit boring, but guess what? This is what you need. You need to see why I think a product's a winner, why I'm picking those products as we go through the product research because you having a winning product without knowing why it's a winning product is absolutely pointless. So let's get right into this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the TikTok Creative Center. And then in here, what you want to do is you want to go down to countries and we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in all the main countries and a couple other random little ones that I've just noticed kind of produce some pretty good results uh, for some products that aren't getting tested in the top four countries, but happen to be getting tested in other places. So we're going to go ahead and do United States, United Kingdom. One of the random ones is Spain. Um, we're going to go ahead and also do uh, one other one. It's going to be Brazil, uh, but I do want to get those top four in there. Oh, sorry, Mexico is another one. Um, and then we're going to also do uh, France. And we're going to go ahead and do Canada, Brazil, um, and Australia and the UK. So those additional ones predominantly will be running products for people that speak Spanish. Um, but what we want to do is we want to find those products and then potentially test them on an English speaking audience because they could do very well. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to go down to objective and we're going to go ahead and hit conversions and then also product sales. Um, we'll leave it at the last 30 days. And then for language, we just want to go ahead and select English still so that we're getting predominantly English ads. Now, when you do this, there's two different ways you can find products. First way is just going ahead, starting to scroll right through this. The other way is actually going and typing something up here. So as you can see, there's all these different options. There's shop now, 50% off. These are kind of like the main trending searches that will provide you with the majority of drop shipping ads. But we're going to start off by just going through and scrolling through. And when I start off, I always start off with for you, but another good option is sorting by click through rate. Uh, but we'll start off with for you. And as you come through, what you want to do is you want to try to find products that have great, great potential to create really, really good ads. Ideally, not a product that you've seen before. That would be the most ideal situation because then that way we can go ahead and we can be the first to market with that product. So quite a few of these are ones that I've already seen quite frequently before. Um, this one's a little bit different. Okay, you know what? This is one that hasn't been shown too much on all different platforms, but it still is a good product. So this product right here, I'm going to explain why I think it's a good product, why it has potential. First thing is add creative. It's something where you can make a lot of different types of creatives and it can do really, really well when it comes to the structures of ads. Second thing is it's a problem solution product. So you can see the problem is my door doesn't close on its own. I buy this. Now my door closes on its own. So you can see it solves a problem that I'm sure a lot of different people do have. And the convenience is it can be installed super easily without actually having to go through and put a bunch of hinges and random stuff on the door that would help it have that closing mechanism. So it's a great product, probably could do a really low sales value and multi-order potential because people have in their house a lot of doors. So great product right there. We'll continue along. Let's see what else we got going on. Typically, the thumbnails will kind of catch my attention and then that's what draws me in. So this one, it kind of caught my attention because it was jewelry, but it was like a unique jewelry piece, something I've never seen before. Um, so I'm going to say not really just because jewelry is very difficult to get into. Uh, you have to have like a really, really unique piece to get into jewelry. As we come along here, I don't really like doing makeup products because typically they get banned um, either for false advertising or for too much like up close of a specific body part. 
I've just run into so many issues with, um, with those type of products. So as we come through here, you'll notice you're kind of faced with just a big kind of, of just random stuff. Um, if you happen to have like certain categories that you know you're really good at selling in or you've found other winner products in, that might be something that you would want to do is actually narrow down by those categories. So to give you an example of that, I personally love selling in specific categories because I've found success in these categories time and time again. So first one is apparel and accessories. And then the other huge one um, is this one down here. So household products or home improvement products. So let's go ahead, let's check out home improvement products and you'll notice the shift in all the different types of ads that you're gonna see. These are majority products that are specific for stuff around the house, whether it's improvements or just general things that you would use around your house. Um, that's kind of what you're gonna get. Now, you may be thinking like, John, why the heck did you decide to watch this video right here? It's because of the same reason why anyone else would watch this video, why anyone else would click on this ad. When you look at this in comparison to all of these, your mind automatically says, what the hell is behind that door? What the hell is going on in this video? It creates a sense of intrigue. It creates a sense of interest in what's going on. And I don't know if you can fully see the text up here, but it says family is always opening your door. So you kind of want to see what's behind the door. So if we go ahead and we watch it, you're going to kind of see what ends up happening. And I'm sure they're going to end up throwing a product in here. <laughs> it's that same one. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Okay, so two ads, two different types of creative structures, both clearly caught my attention. So guess what? They're probably going to catch the attention of other people that are watching this ad. So again, still a good product. I'm going to, I'm going to double down on that one. It has some good potential. So we're looking for creatives that have good structure. We're looking for thumbnails that have good structure. And then once we watch the video, we're looking for products that have the winning criteria, which is generally something that can be advertised quite well. Something like this. What the heck's going on? Lead up on this one's a little bit too long. I still don't know what the heck the product is. So lead up's way too long on that one. Um, just to give you an idea when it comes to ads, you got to be pretty fast with the delivery of what the product is and why it's a good product. Um, TV room, I think this is a projector, not a fan. There's been too many projectors going on out there uh, lately and just in general. Something like this. Holy crap. Oh, is it a booty pillow? <laughs> That's messed up. That's stupid. Okay. That's not a good product. That's just stupidity. Um, all right. What else do we got? I want to try to find at least a couple here just so you can kind of see what would make me think that something's a winning product, but it is a process and that's why you got to just be patient. Like just calm down, calm down and be patient because we're going to find another winner here. Don't worry. So the other way to find products is you actually just go to TikTok. And what you're going to want to do is pick some kind of a product. So whether it's pants, whether it's um, shirts, whether it's uh, necklaces, whether it's, I mean, I'm, I know I'm throwing a bunch of fashion stuff, but whether it's anything, all you got to do is type viral and then you can put something in there afterwards. So let's put like viral light. Now, once you put that in, you got to kind of nitpick a little bit because there's going to be a lot of random crap like this crazy girl. Clearly, it has nothing to do with the light. It's just her stomping around, probably pissing off her neighbors. But if we come through, we're going to see stuff like this. So this is a viral TikTok light, apparently viral. And it can be viral because potentially you'll start running ads and it will blast right off. So what we want to do is we want to go through and we want to kind of look at all these different um, videos. These ones look like some makeup lights. Now, when you're doing this kind of organic search for a product, the amount of views that the, uh, that the content has does play a factor because if it's getting that many views organically, that means it's most likely going to perform well when you're running paid ads. So I've seen a couple of this kind of like makeup light. I think it's that one. And then this one was also a viral TikTok light is the back in stock. It looks like there's a couple. I wonder what these mount to. I wonder if these are, I bought the TikTok near light and it didn't disappoint. I wonder what these are for. Are they for makeup or are they for, 
Okay, it's for like selfies and videos. Okay, so just to give you an example, so just like that, we found a product using the viral and then putting whatever afterwards. So here we have several different videos all demonstrating the same product. 157,000 views, 87,000 views, 144,000 views, and they're all for the same product. Now this product is pretty good considering there's two different variants that you could run with. So you can do both the white light or you could do the orange hue light. Here's another one with 8,500. So why we want to do this is because we're going to find several different ads and we're going to find several different kind of ad structures just based off the or organic content. So this one, 1.7 million views. So if we go ahead and we look at these product videos, right, that could potentially be ad structures. We got one where it's this girl talking about how she just bought a light. Lead up is a bit slower until she reveals the product. We got another one where the girl's talking about the product, but she's just caught in talking about it while waving the product around. Third one, we got a person talking about the product and the product's right there with the price points. And then this one down here, we got a girl demonstrating the product without actually showing it yet. So you kind of get that angle. And then this one down here, we got a girl demonstrating the product without actually showing it, but it's to such an extreme because it's in a car. So inside a house, you can see it's not that extreme, but inside the car, it is that extreme. So out of all these different creative structures, not only are you able to find a product that's validated through organic content, you're also able to figure out what the best ad creative structure is when using this product research method. So we know full well, based off all these different examples, this product has good potential. We've got over one point, almost, well, no, we've got almost 2 million views like accumulated between all these different videos. And we've got one creative structure that's clearly stood out as the better performing creative structure that we can use when creating our ads, which is going to be the product being demonstrated in a setting where it's very, very clear how well it works, then showing the product and then showing all the results. And I love how at the end, she actually put photos kind of clipping it together. You'll see right here, photo, photo, photo. So that kind of gives you an example of how it would work not only with video, but also when taking photos. So just like that, we found three different products that you could potentially test just using these two methods. I love this method because it gives you an example of creative structure as well as showing you the product. So you kind of know how the product would work, but you also know how you would advertise it. So this product, there's quite a few different options that would come through. I mean, you really can search for viral anything and it will give you a bunch of different ideas. But when you find one, when searching like this, if you find a product where there's a bunch of different organic posts about it and they're getting a lot of views, that's an indication to you that that product most likely is doing really well and will do really well when you start running it with paid ads.